Hello everybody, welcome back to Ready Steady DIY. Today in this video, I wanna talk about how to roll up and store cam buckle straps. If you saw my previous video about cam buckle straps, you went out and bought some, you're like, hey, I've used them and now what do I do with them? There is a trick to sort of rolling them up and storing them properly. We're gonna go over that in this video today. This will be a short one. It'll be easy to stay through to the end. But for now, let's get going. So firstly, this only works with cam buckle straps that have no hardware on the ends. If there are hooks, other kinds of hardware, this won't work, but there's actually quite a lot of cam buckle straps that you will find out there in the world that don't have hardware on the ends. If you've seen my video before about cam buckle straps, you know this. Generally, cam buckle straps are made to be lighter weight than ratchet straps. And so they often have no hardware on the ends because they're excellent for bundling things together. So the first step, you lay the webbing out flat and you make sure there are no twists. If there was a twist, and it wasn't perfectly flat, it will come back to haunt you in the wrap later. So you wanna make sure you're starting with it flat. So then you take the free end of the webbing and you pass it through the base of the buckle, not the teeth, which would lock onto it, but underneath that, the base of the buckle. And you allow about 10 inches to hang over the right side of the buckle as it faces you. You can be a little off here. I usually allow about 10 inches with this length of strap. This strap is 15 feet long. And so by passing the webbing through that base of the buckle, you've overlapped most of the free end with itself and created a loop. And because you were careful in the beginning to make sure it was flat, the loop has no twists in it at all. So since you basically made a very long loop to the left of the buckle, you work your fingers down that loop until you get to the very apex of it. That's where you start rolling. It's a little bit fiddly at first. The beginning is a little bit hard to get, but you work your way up, you roll, you roll, you roll until you have rolled up the entire amount of webbing all the way back to the buckle. You grab the 10 inches of strapping that's to the right of the buckle and wrap it around the roll you made with your webbing. This is gonna feel like you're wrapping it around opposite to the direction of the roll, that's totally cool. And once the whole roll is completely wrapped up with your extra 10 inches or so of webbing, you run that 10 inches through the teeth of the buckle, pull it tight and it'll lock. And that way you can put your cam buckle strap away and it's always going to be neatly organized for you or easy to pack. And there you have it. So I hope that helped you out. If it did, please feel free to like or subscribe. Liking and subscribing really helps a channel like this. And if you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. And otherwise, take care, stay safe, have fun with your DIY projects, and I'll see you next Saturday.